Welcome to the Lighting Control Panel Board software video. In this video, we will review the initial setup of the LCP panels with our built-in web-enabled interface. After connecting to the LCP controller with a standard network cable plugged into the Ethernet port, push the top yellow button twice to display the IP address and enter it into any internet-based web browser. Default login credentials for the username are admin and the default password is PW. You can change these momentarily. After successfully logging in, you will be directed to the status page. Here you can view the current position of your loaded breaker panel. From the status page, click on Setup tab and then Setup Home tab. Let's review the options on the Setup Home tab. Starting on the upper left, you can enter your customer information. Underneath, you can adjust your clock settings. Default is the central time zone. Next, you can find the astronomical clock settings for scheduling timed events. If you wish to enable schedules, please click the Enable Schedules box now. Once the settings are correct, click the Save Astro Clock tab and the Schedules tab will appear at the top. The information on the right of the Setup homepage allows you to reset your password, update the firmware or web page, or reboot the RPC controller. Next, we will review options under the Network tab. Topping the page is the Network Configuration Settings. The default network host name is Lintech and DHCP is enabled by default. Uncheck the box and enter your network information if a static IP address is preferred. Next is the IP Configuration section. Check the box here and enter the necessary information located in this section if you plan to control any Lintech IP enabled devices. Underneath the IP configuration section is where we can program email addresses to receive alerts if the LCP can access the public internet. The next section we will review is the protocols tab. The LCP series can be controlled by TCP IP, RS-232, Streaming ACN, or DMX-512. If DMX-512 is selected, the LCP will allow for up to four starting addresses within the same universe. If streaming ACN is selected, you can program one starting address over four different universes. Remember to save any changes before leaving the Protocols tab. Next, we will review the Panels tab. The Panels tab can be broken up into three separate sections. On the far left is where we will find the Global Command section, the middle of the page is the Individual Circuit Control section, and the far right is where we will program zone control. Starting on the far left in the global command section, if you wish to enable the all circuits on, off, or hurry off functionality, check the appropriate box now. If your LCP panel is to be a part of any UL924 systems, make sure to check the box next to the emergency lighting button now. Likewise, if you wish to enable recovery after an emergency lighting signal is cleared, check the appropriate box now. Checking the box highlighted in yellow is how we will assign individual circuits to respond to an emergency lighting contact. Next, we will move to the far right of the screen and review how to program our zone control functions. First, notice that there are 12 color-coded zones. Each different zone can be programmed to respond to various contact, scheduled, or network controls, and then manipulate the individual circuits that are assigned to that zone. To begin programming a zone, First, click the small radio button to the left of the colored and numbered zone designation. Next, determine how you want to control that zone. The drop-down box located underneath the zone name is where we will assign your intended communication protocol, like DMX-512, streaming ACN, or grouping them together to create a sequence. Please note that if grouping is chosen, the breakers assigned to that zone will automatically be assigned a 100 millisecond step rate. We can also create a small custom string of text and rename each zone if you prefer at this time. After protocol assignment, note that the two drop-down boxes to the right. The drop-down box located on the top is where we will assign behavior dictated by a contact created from the contacts tab, and underneath is where we will assign the zone to be manipulated by a scheduled event programmed from the schedules tab. It's also important to note that only grouped zones will have access to the contact closure and schedule functions. Please remember to save your settings before leaving each tab to program a schedule or contact. 
Now that your zones have been created, we can move to the middle or the circuit control section of the page and begin to assign zone control to our individual circuits. First, make sure the radio button on the zone you are creating is still checked and move your cursor to the first circuit to be designated. If you click on the green oval to the right of the address column, the oval should immediately populate with information and you should see the corresponding address column turn the same color as the zone you are creating. The information in the green box should display the order in which that circuit will respond to the zone command. For example, if DMX512 is chosen, you should see your first DMX starting address in the middle of the green box as well as streaming ACN. If grouping is chosen, this is the position in the sequence that the circuit will respond. Additionally, if grouping is chosen, you should see a pop-up box appear, and if you need to change around the circuit position in the sequence you are creating, simply click the up and down arrows while simultaneously noticing the bracketed number in the green box change to indicate the change in position. Lastly, save all of your changes before leaving the Panels tab. Now that the Panels tab has been programmed, we will take a look at the Schedules tab. Up to six different schedules can be programmed for every day of the week. Schedules can be assigned to various events like sunrise or sunset, or they can be programmed for timed events in five minute increments. Feel free to change or create any custom text in the scheduled name box now. After your schedule has been programmed, click the enable button underneath the corresponding schedule name and click the save changes button at the top. You can now return to the Panels tab and assign your new schedule to each zone you wish to control. The last tab we will review is Contact Closures. Each LCP controller comes standard with six contact ports. If any optional accessories like an I.O. board are installed, this is where their functionality can be programmed. Lintex programming allows for contacts to serve as normally open, normally closed, or as momentary toggle. This is where we can also merge adjacent ports together as well. Please remember, port number six is reserved for emergency lighting if the emergency lighting box has been chosen under the Panels tab. You can also change or create any custom text here at this time. Please remember to save changes before leaving. That completes the software overview video for Lintec's new LCP panel board. There are additional resources available on our website, lintech.com, or please feel free to call the factory if you have any additional questions about configuring your LCP controller.